Hey guys, it's Tommy here. If you haven't noticed, we have two new face masks up on the store at NewScapePro.com. Yep, that's right. The two variants we have are the adorable Tickle Monster face mask, and then we also have the SCP logo face mask. For only 15 bucks, you can get your style on, while both staying safe and supporting the amazing SCP community. So yeah, if you don't have a bandana like me, or you're in need of a new cool face mask, go to NewScapePro.com. Link is in the description down below. Stay safe out there, guys. Let's start the episode. There's nothing useful here. There's got to be something we can use to help Tommy out. Hey, Crystal, did you find anything? Ugh, sorry, Ruby. I'm just finding a lot of old documents. There's got to be something. Something that can help stop the Black Shuck from killing Tommy. Yeah, I know it's tough. It kills anyone a year from looking at its eyes. How much time does Tommy have left, by the way? Uh, he has three weeks left. Oh no. How has he been taking it? I don't know. He's been trying to keep distant from everyone so the black shuck can only affect him. Hmm, I see. Ruby, you seem really stressed out. Why don't you take a break? N no, I have to keep looking until I find a solution. Have you eaten anything today, Ruby? Uh, I think I had coffee this morning. Ruby, it's 11 p.m. Here, go get something to eat and I'll keep looking, okay? Uh, uh are you sure? I can keep looking, I'm not even tired. No, no, you go get some food, get plenty of rest, and do whatever Rubies do, okay? Uh, okay. Thanks, Crystal. I really appreciate you helping me out with all this. Of course. I'll keep looking. See you. Ugh, oh, that poor girl. There's gotta be an SCP that can help with Tommy's problem. Guess I'll keep looking. Wow, I've been watching too much anime with Ruby. Huh? SCP-001? Gate Guardian? No, that can't be right. I thought 001 was... Which story did you believe was the real SCP-001? Oh, um, I, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. That's all right. But you didn't answer my question, though. Which one did you believe in? The prototype? The Gate Guardian? I'm not sure. How do you... W hold on. You're no five, aren't you? You're- yes, yes, I am who you think I am. You already know my number, and I know that you're Researcher Crystal. Y yeah but what are you doing here exactly? I noticed you were looking into some pretty important documents there, and then you started reading about the Gate Guardian. I was just wondering which one is the real one. Well, they could all be real. They could all be fake. But I'll tell you now, the factory is SCP-001. The factory? I don't think I saw that in the pile of documents here. That's because it's not written up, and it'll never be written up. That was a choice I made early on in the creation of the Foundation. The factory was built in 1835. Back then, the factory was known as the Anderson Factory, named after James Anderson, 
This was designed to be the ultimate building. It was capable of housing hundreds of people, where they would be born to work until the day they died. And it usually was from being overworked. They would make all sorts of contraptions. Toy guns that would shoot real bullets. A breed of skeleton horses that were faster than anything I'd ever seen. Both wondrous and horrible things were created in that factory. One day, a woman manages to escape from the factory and explained all the horrors it had. That's when we came in. James Anderson, we finally caught you. Ah, indeed you have. So what are you going to do? Arrest me? After all those disgusting things we found down there? No, we're going to end you right here, right now. <laughs> you can kill me, but my factory, this factory, will go on for long after either of you are dead. After your grandchildren are dead, the place will go on forever. Search the area. This guy must have had all sorts of secrets lying around. We took over the factory, and the 13 of us tried to keep track of all the secrets in the factory, but there was just so many of them. It was going good, but then the year 1911 is when everything went wrong. There were these things. One day they attacked the factory. We had lost. They had taken over the factory and would have taken over mankind if it wasn't for me. There's gotta be something here, something I can use to help us. Humanity will get wiped if I don't do something. Looking to stop the fairies? Yeah, you. How are you still talking? <laughs> you obviously haven't seen what lies deep in the factory. What do you want from me? Well, as a businessman, I'd like to make a deal with you. And what would that be? Simple! Those fairies are taking over this place, and if they fully succeed, they'll destroy the whole human race. I want to offer you hope. Hope? What do you mean by that? I'll ensure your victory against the fairies, but in exchange, I'm going to need something great from you. He said that all I needed to give it was us. Uh, I'm sorry, but what is this it you're referring to? Well, I don't believe I was talking to the real Anderson that day, no. I was talking to an entity that truly runs the factory. And what's the factory doing now? We locked it shut and hid it away from humanity. But every so often, it still asks for things. Asks for people. Sacrifices. Uh, this is a lot to take in. I do have to ask, why me? Why are you telling me all this? Perhaps because I'm simply getting old and wanted to have a conversation. I just thought we could have the factory tamed, but I realized we can never truly tame SCPs. Isn't the MTF force trying to recruit SCPs into their missions now? Isn't that considered taming them? That's why Iris is with them now. Ah, yes. I was the only one that refused that suggestion. And why did you refuse? Because we can never truly tame SCPs. Contain them, yes. But if you try to tame, that'll just end in death. All right, what do we got here? Well, it seems like an empty box. Wait, Simon, wasn't there like a similar room like this one we visited like a year ago? Oh yeah! It was where they kept SCP-076, but the whole area got nuked. Last I heard, he was dead. Well, I guess he can never truly die. I'm just wondering what we're doing here. Also, where's Iris and Johnson? Well, Iris threw up on Johnson's uniform, so they're cleaning up right now. Ah, uh, she'll never grow out of that. Alright, you guys must be the other MTF team that was called here for a Project Omega-7. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Do I know you? Wait, Simmons? Simon? Samson, you took my wife. The wound still cuts deep. 
Jesus, what is the Foundation coming to? Allowing you pathetic fools into a project as grand as this one. You were always the worst brother, Samson. According to Mom, you were the least favorite. Okay, Samson, hold me back! Ugh, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure your team doesn't get enlisted with us. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna make sure we don't get enlisted first. Hey, guys! I heard arguing! I wanna argue, too! Ugh, and who might you be? All right there, tone down the attitude, buddy. You're never gonna find a lady like that. Well, actually, out of my brothers here, I'm the married one. Huh? Wait, this is your brother Samson? Yeah. How did you blame my wife it? first? But I was at least a cuter one. I'm angry! Rabba, rabba, rabba! Hmm? Uh, guys? Who's the Tarzan looking dude over there? Huh? Oh. That may be a problem. 